from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. They'll run again with Lynch. Oh, and now he bowls him over. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here. It's accelerating and off he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A big play there. 65 yards. And the Raiders have moved out in front. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down. Doesn't matter how far they need for a first down, throwing the ball. Instead, they run it, and as you said, picked up the first down, and then some, and then some. In fact, everything, all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. This is taken at his four. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Cleo Mack starting to get a really big-time reputation as a pass rusher, and rightly so. So explosive off the edge getting to the quarterback. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has. Able to... And this is going to be intercepted. <laughs> Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air. And then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. They start the drive with Lynch. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, Hard to get him started again occasionally. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. That will give running right is Lynch. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On is the punter, King, to send it away. And take it right on the 30. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. And on second and ten now. Operating from the gun. Ryan. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Gary and Conley. And some space here. 
The there he goes right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So out come the Falcons now. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last night, Julio Jones all alone. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. A beautiful fake. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Yeah, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it, and let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. On third down, that's Lynch. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you learn? You can still make plays, even when the other guy's having success against you. The Raiders do snap it. It's Carr. And he finds Cook. There he goes left side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Jared Cook, 78 yards. And the Raiders add on to their lead. So it was fourth down. They go deep to try to pick up the first. They pick up more than that. They pick up a score. I'm not even sure the analytics guys would think that was a good gamble. Fourth down there going for it, but they pressed the issue. And not only did they complete the pass downfield, how about the run after catch that ends up culminating in a touchdown? That's a huge play. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. To throw is Ryan. 
The left side completion to Jones. And he'll be down deep into Oakland territory. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. And he'll work his way forward up to the 22. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. They'll keep pounding here with Lynch. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. On third down, that's Lynch. And he's got Rome. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. down to a knee and that ought to just about do it the Raiders on third down they've hit at 50 percent three of six to this point this is third down and 12 well I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes <laughs> because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard you're a defensive guy but it was a fun little track meet wasn't it it was and you know the people really enjoyed this game they're the ones that like going to batting practice at the major league baseball <laughs> parks right <laughs> seeing the 14 to 11 game that sort of deal that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everybody.